the dentist. Alright guys, we just got out of the dentist. So, it rained really hard last night, so we are probably not going to go surfing because when it rains a lot, a bunch of bacteria comes out of all the rivers and stuff, and it's really easy to get ear infections and eye infections and stuff. So we usually just wait a couple of days for the water to clear up. So after this, we'll probably do a little uh, recap of Atua's session last time, have him do a little voiceover. But, in the time for the time being, I'm going to do a little storytelling about something about Costa Rica. You guys have been asking, like, to, you know, learn a little bit more about living life, what, what's it like, you know, some of the differences here in Costa Rica. All right, so a really quick story. So when we first moved to Costa Rica, I was getting everything taken care of before I got here. I got my eyes, LASIK surgery, um, got checked out at the doctor, and then I went to the dentist, and I was like, you know, I want to make sure my teeth are good to go before I make that move because I don't... I don't, I don't know the dentist there yet. I, I don't know of any dentists. So they did the x-rays and all that, and they said, okay, there's this, there's like, you know, a couple little cavities, we'll do a teeth cleaning and this and that. And then they gave me the bill of what it would cost, and it was like 3500 to $4,000, and I was just like, what? For this, really? And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go see what the dentist is like in Costa Rica. That, that sounds really expensive to me. So, long story short, Arrived in Costa Rica and just kind of asked around for a dentist and I found a dentist it was a female dentist and she did all my teeth and I think at the time of course the prices are a little bit higher now but she did all my teeth and I think I got everything done for under $500 so that was like a over $3,000 savings and what you can what some people do is if they have like a lot of work to be done they'll literally take a vacation here get their teeth done and it'll be cheaper than if they would have got their teeth done back at home and the interesting thing is I still go to the same dentist uh, it looks like there's some thick dark black clouds coming in and people are talking about we might have a lot of rain for a few days so we're gonna try to get a little bit of drone footage because we don't know when the rain's gonna clear up for the next time let me show you what, how dark the sky is over there Clouds, lots of rain, makes for some really natural looking landscaping, driftwood everywhere. As you can see the clouds are all kind of in the cloud, but then you look over here, look at that. Thick, dark plumes, solid cloud. Oh. Probably gonna start pouring rain in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Alright guys, so I'm going to take talk you guys through two of the waves from yesterday's session, but it's the GoPro footage, which you guys still haven't seen. Funny thing about the GoPro is wave two of the waves that are the same can look completely different from the normal camera and the GoPro. So here's the first wave, this is from the beach, just came up, did like a little almost like check sort of cutback, and the waves are a little bit mushy, and then I did a floater. And then here is the GoPro shot. See how it looks very different, a little bit distorted. Did a little cut back, the waves were a little bit small. And then right here you see I went to do a floater and then I kind of fell onto my back. So here's the slow motion. First stood up, I could see the section was quite a bit far away so I decided to kind of just do a turn so that I wouldn't like lose my speed by just standing there. So I just came up to the top, did a little 
check turn almost, a little bit cut back check. I probably could have kept turning my head, but I kind of turned back a little bit early. And then on this floater, like as you can see, I'm kind of like pumping towards it, trying to get some speed to get on. And as right when I get on, I kind of didn't turn my head to the beach. If I would have turned my head to the beach, then I probably would have been able to make that floater. So I probably should work on turning my head towards the beach to finish the floater. So here's the second wave from the beach. My sister was on the wave and I did a little check turn sorta and then I went for kind of like a layback. So here is the GoPro shot. First just normal speed. Stood up, saw my sister, where she was coming kind of towards me. Did a little turn, then she ended up getting off the wave. And I came, and as you can see on the GoPro, it almost looks like there's not even a wave, but it's just kind of funny. So here is the slow motion. Super slow-mo. Paddling into the wave, checking side to side, make sure there's no one else on the wave. Getting in, almost in the wave, and just into the wave. And then I saw my sister come, come, kind of coming towards me, so I did some time to like make sure she wasn't gonna keep coming, we'd run into each other. Then, I'm just kind of coming up, doing a little check, little cutback sort of thing. I probably could have held my, like keep, kept turning my head and that would have maybe made it a little bit of a better turn, but I could see that the section was kind of coming. The GoPro almost makes it look like there's not even a wave almost. But right here, I'm like coming, kind of doing a little bit of a pump, a little bit of a bottom turn. Right when I come up, I, as you can see, my back foot kind of slid off and I kind of turned my head back out to the ocean. Maybe if I would have stayed a bit more over my board, I may have landed that. But I kind of was just trying to go for it and go for maneuvers that I can't that can't really do the best. So yeah, those were the two waves. Hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely got some stuff to work on. And if you haven't, make sure to check out my YouTube channel. Links in the description. Pura Vida and Aloha, and see you in the next video.